हेलो गाय दिस इज कोड एंड कोड एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन ग्राफ थ्योरी एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी देर आर गोइंग टू बी थ्री आई गेस पार्ट्स ऑफ इट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ ग्राफ थ्योरी कोर्स एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक एट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन पार्ट वन ऑफ ग्राफ थ्योरी सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एन ओवरव्यू ऑफ द कोर्स स्टार्ट सो एट फर्स्ट वी विल बी studying about the representation of graph there are two different kinds of representation of graph there are three but we would we would study only two uh first one is adjacency list method and another one is adjacency matrix method of graph representation after look, looking at the representation we would be studying dfs that is def first search traversal technique there are <coughs> sorry there are two different traversal techniques of a graph breadth first search and depth first search first we would study about depth first search after we have studied about depth first search we would uh, move on to finding connected components and we would also have uh, we would also look at the properties of connected components and so on to give an give you an idea of what connected components are suppose this is a this is a graph and the graph contains three connected components so what is a connected component uh, this whole thing is a single graph so in this graph you can see that if you uh, from all these nodes if you choose any two nodes then there exists a path between those two nodes for example take any two node there exists a path between those two for example this and this there exists a path like this but if you choose one node from this and another node from this then there exists no path so that's why they are in different connected components and uh, another thing is that this ho whole set of these nodes form a single connected component be because if you choose any two nodes from these from this set there exists a path so that's why this forms a single connected component this forms another connected component and this forms another co connected component so in total there exist three connected components in this given graph now after we have studied about connected components we would move on to bipartite graph tests or two coloring tests and after that we would be studying about cycle detection so we would look at how we can find out whether the given graph contains cycle or not and then after that there is an in in out time of node this is nothing special uh, it, it is just a pre processing processing part of bridges and articulation algorithm so after that we would study about uh, the diameter of a graph you will have look at how you can find the diameter of a graph diameter of a graph is the longest dis distance between any pair in a given graph and after that we would find bridges and articulation points now bridges uh, bridges also known as cut edges and articulation points also known as cut vertices now what are cut vertices or articulation points in a graph uh, here you can see this forms a single connected component so uh, the nodes which when removed along with their edges increase the number of connected components so there are two such nodes if you remove any of them then the number of connected components are going to be increased uh as you can see there are two red nodes there are two nodes marked with red these two are articulation points uh as you can see i have removed this node and the number of connected components have increased initially there were only a single connected component and now the graph contains three connected components if you remove this node only then the number of connected components are not going to increase because after you remove this then again the total number of connected component are going to be one so this 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 and this the four nodes that does, does not uh, belong to articulation points after articulation points these are edges uh, cut edges or bridges so cut edges or bridges are the edges which when removed increase the number of connected component for example if you remove this edge or this edge the number of connected components are going to increase for example i have removed this edge and the total number of connected component have uh, uh, now the total number of connected components are 
and if you remove any edge from these four then uh, the total number of connected components are not going to be affected so these are bridges after studying about uh, cut vertices and bridges we would move on to finding Euler circuit Euler circuit is a special kind of uh, uh, loop or cycle in which you start and end at the same point and you traverse each edge exactly one of a uh, exactly one time of a given graph so after studying Euler circuit we would see how Euler circuit how to check whether the graph contains Euler circuit or not and how to find Euler circuit and then after we have studied all this we would move on to BFS that is breadth search after BFS we would detect cycle using BFS we would see whether the graph contains cycle or not using BFS and then after that uh, BFS would be utilized to find the minimum distance from a given node to every other node and this can be done only if and only if uh, the given graph is either unweighted or all the weight all the edges have equal weights then only we can apply BFS to find single source shortest path and after this we would study about strongly connected component there are two different algorithms to find strongly correct, uh, connected components namely Kosaraju's algorithm and Tarzan's algorithm we would study both of them separately and this is going to be part one of graph theory uh, course about this there is also one thing uh, I would also be creating an article on discuss.codechef.com and for any important information like oh yeah important thing is that after we have completed a certain lecture up to a certain lecture like five or six I would be uh, hosting a contest on vjudge.com it would be contest for those who are participating in here and any other person can also participate but it is it would be uh, mainly concentrating about the implementations of the parts that you have already studied so after completing five or six lecture there would be a contest uh, so that you can utilize all the knowledge that you have gained so far so about that knowledge i will be posting on the on the article that i would be creating on code chef so i will be creating an article on code chef and the link to the article would be uh, there in the description of this video so make sure you follow that uh, that article as well because any if there is any important information i would be keep you updated there only so make sure you follow that article and if you have any queries or queries doubt or suggestion anything is welcome you you are free to post your queries or suggestion on that article so thank you guys for watching and keep coding thank you